Some days, training is all about patience and waiting out. Got Nell in the back. Nell's a very nervous in the car. So it took us about 20 minutes of jumping in and out of the car before I would actually let him get in and close the door. Then it probably another five minutes to close the door. We're still sitting in the parking lot after we did a two mile run. Run walk, I should say. And we sat here for probably five minutes before I actually even put the keys in the ignition. And now we've been sitting here for about three minutes with the car running. Not moving, we're just sitting here. And see if we can just let him settle down. I'm not really talking to him. We're just keeping things quiet and still. A lot of anxiety. Not sure where this comes from. I do know that if you can, I don't know if you can tell with all the gates up, but he does, he's, yes, he's got a curly tail, but he's got a kink on the end of his tail. So he obviously had his tail slammed in a door, and I suspect it was probably slammed in a car door, which is the, might be the root of his vehicle anxiety. When we transported him, we had him in a crate, and he did just fine. So my next venture will be to try him in a crate, but... I have to do that on a day when I'm only transporting him because I'm usually transporting Bella or, and or Cicero and or Rufus um, on the other half of the journey and they obviously cannot fit in a crate. They need the back end open. So well, it looks like maybe we're starting to dial down. So we may be able to try and put the car in gear and start our venture home. We'll just have to see. I don't have an appointment for another hour, so I've got a little bit of time.